Greetings, one and all. Welcome back to NHL 19 Franchise Mode with your Winnipeg Jets. Yes, we are back here again to play through the 2021 NHL offseason. Last episode, we played through the 2021 NHL playoffs, and the Winnipeg Jets became back-to-back -back Stanley Cup champions. Woohoo! Yeah, so, the Winnipeg Jets, we've won the last two Stanley Cup championships. We're the best team in hockey by quite a large margin, and we're ready to go into the draft free agency and hopefully find some extra pieces to keep us going and hopefully go for a three-peat. Maybe we could become the first team in a very long time to three-peat. That's the aim here, ladies and gents. Three-peat the cup, then I think, I think if we three-peat, that's the series done. Like, we can't get any better than that, so we're going to go for that. But anyway, I simulated between the final game um, that we played last episode up until here, and it showed us the retired list, and Dustin Bufflin, at 36 years old, decided to retire from the team. I'll just show you the contracts and show you that he's not on the team anymore. Otherwise, you might be like, oh, you're lying to us. Why would you say that? So if we go to uh, defense, so our defenseman, there he is, not there. He's not there. Dustin Bufflin has retired. 36 year years old. He had won the last two Stanley Cups, so... Fair play. I think that there's not really much better time to retire, really, is there? So, we move into the NHL entry draft. I've had a quick look at some of the players available. Some of our scouts have identified some gems in the draft. One of them may be able to pick up with our first round pick at 31st. However, somebody else might take him beforehand. But let's get into it. Let's pick our draft class for the 2021 NHL entry draft. So, the New York Islanders have the first, well, uh, the first pick. So, it's, uh, the Islanders, Vegas, Detroit... Florida, uh, New Jersey, Edmonton, LA, Nashville, Carolina, and the Avs. They are the top 10 picks this draft. Let's see what happens. So, ah, Brindamore was the guy I wanted to pick. Damn it. Okay, Brindamore was the guy that I was interested in. He was a, uh, a low elite by the looks of it. So, if we take a look at the top picks. A Ginla. I don't know if that's related to Jerome McGinla. Um, medium elite. Medium elite right winger. Uh, medium elite. Uh, another right winger, an unknown player that we didn't really draft very well, another elite. So there's, there's quite a few elites going here. Don't know really that much about Fortin. So, Brindamore was the guy would I was really hoping we'd pick up, but unfortunately, not the way it goes. So, let's look at potential. Hopefully, we've uh, scouted a few decent players. Uh, there's a couple of elite players here, which is good. Okay, uh, let's check the rankings as well. So, he can go 99th. So we don't need to pick him now. Um, okay, top nine forward. His rank is 31st, Reed Millen. He is 17 years old from the QMJHL. And we've also got uh, Vertanen. He's a centre from the Finnish League. Um, he had five points last season in the Liga. And he had uh, what, 52 points. Okay, let's go for Millen. Let's pick Millen and see what happens. So, uh, if we just go check the first round again. I just want to see how well we did. Uh, yeah, medium top nine forward. I'll take it. I'll take it with our first pick of the draft. It's the last pick in the first round, so may as well. So this is the 62nd pick. We'll have the 93rd pick next round, won't we? Oh, 61st pick. He's supposed to be a low elite, uh, but we don't know that for sure. I Oh, ah, rank 87, and he's meant to be a medium elite player. He's 19 years old. He's been playing in Russia. He only had one goal in 37 games last season, though. Uh, so I, I'm not too sure about that, but his, his stats look pretty decent. His skating's a little bit poor. Uh, takes winning seriously, has an incredible drive to win. Loyalty is a concern. Kavanov. Let's pick Kavanov. Why not? So, I, I assume, just like normal, it always does the... Uh, yeah, so it looks like it's a medium elite. So, let's go to our next draft pick. We don't really know too much about that guy. Um, except that he's supposed to be elite. We've probably completely messed that up. But, what can you do? So, uh, this is one that I wanted to pick. Uh, Peltier. So, he's 99th. Supposed to go 99th in the draft. He had three points in 34 games with the OHL last season. Um, he's meant to be a gem in this draft, although his shooting, his puck skills, and his senses aren't the best. Uh, nothing to report, but he is supposed to be an elite. He's supposed to be uh, a gem in this draft. So I'm going to pick him. Why not? I mean, I'm, I, I've got to be honest, I'm not planning on uh, spending a huge amount of time uh, with this series after next season or so. I'm probably going to end it after next season anyway, so I'm not really that fussed who we pick here. So, uh, goaltenders, uh, there's a bust there. We don't really want to go for any busts. Uh, we've got some potential elite players, but we haven't scouted them enough. I, I kind of find the scouting a little bit difficult in this game. Um, I don't know, there's just something about it. 
Uh, defenseman. So you had one goal in 16 games in Russia. Yeah, go on. Why not? We're getting some Europeans in the lineup, ladies and gents. I mean, we've the Winnipeg Jets have always done well with Europeans. Patrick Laine, finish. There you go. Um, Clint, 155th overall, bottom six forward. Yeah, why not? Let's take him. Sure, he's a grinder. And I think we're coming towards the end of the draft now, aren't we? Sixth round, so we're in the penultimate round of the draft. Okay, anybody else? Uh, seventh defenseman, Kane, supposedly. Yeah, we'll take you. Why not? And then for the final pick of the draft for us... Let's just find somebody really crazy. So AHL top six. Apparently there's a potential low elite player. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. Uh, we've got several of them here apparently. Uh, rank 220th. He had seven points with the WHL last season. Uh, you, uh, the goaltender had four wins in six games in the La Liga. Yeah, let's take him. Let's take a goaltender. He could be elite. I guess we'll find out at some point. So, the Winnipeg Jets draft class for the 2021 NHL entry draft. First round, Armillan, then Kavanov, then Peltier, then Kondratiev, then Klin, then Kane, then Koistinen. Koistinen? I don't know. Something like that. Right, so we move on to the re-sign phase. This is very important. We need to make sure we keep all of our team together. So, uh, following scouts, uh, contracts have expired on your team. Oh, okay. Lots of... Uh, Oh, they have expiring contracts on your uh, on your thing. Okay. So how, how do we check how long they've got? Ah, here we go. Uh, Convoy. Um, let's have a look. Well, I want to know... I want to know how good he is first. Scouting overall A-. minus. Okay, yeah. Let's resign this guy. Uh, 169,000 for three years. Yeah, sure. Why not? There you go, bud. You're welcome. Um, Raycroft. What's his type? B... Yeah, may as well bring him back as well. 131,000. Thank you very much. Uh, Petrolinen, B. Uh, have we got any, like, really bad ones that we shouldn't re-sign? B minus. Uh, B minus, maybe. A C. Yeah, we don't want to re-sign a C. Uh, let's get both of these Bs back. Then we can maybe find another scout um, during free agency that's slightly better. So we'll re-sign those two guys. A B minus and a C. I think I'll leave for now. So... Kyle Connor, Eric Comrie are both restricted free agents. We have 11 players about to become restricted free agents. Oh, a couple of our scouts are re-signing. That's good. So, contracts. We've got a massive pile of money now that Dustin Bufflin decided to retire. We have $27 million of salary cap space. Okay, so we've got we've got something to work with here. So, centres. We're pretty much locked up in centres. Shifley, Duchesne. Ah, okay, uh, Jack Roslovic needs a contract. Okay, so he wants $1.3 million for one year. Sure. Okay, if you want to do a one-year contract, mate, I'm happy with that. Uh, Harkins, 76 at 24 years old. Sure, I'll do a two-way contract for you. Mackenzie, 70 at 23. Sure, he can work in... Uh, he's getting his entry-level contract. Not too bad. Okay, centres. I think we're locked up. Okay, so wingers is where we need some help. Uh, Lemieux. We definitely want to sign Lemieux to a contract. He wants 1.5 million for one year. Okay, I can do that. Fair enough. Kyle Connor. I want to give you a contract, buddy. So you want $5.725 million a season. Let's see if we can get a bit of a discount on that. So if we try to go for 85% of that. Let's go for $5 million for five years. I think that's a fair asking price. Takes about three quarters of a mil away from him. But I think that's the smart thing to do. Matthew Perot, he wants... I can do it for $2 million. Let's see if he'll do $2 million for three years. Um, Curdles, 80 at 27. He's, he's kind of living up to his hype. So let's go $2 million for a year. Lots of players wanting one-year contracts, and I don't mind. Christopher Stieg, Marco Dano, Seth Griffith, uh, Blomqvist. Oh, we we're, we're not we haven't really got much right-winger depth, have we? I mean, we've got Ehlers, Line, and Patan, so technically we do. Um, Marco Dano I'd like to re-sign, actually. Uh, let's go, yeah, 1.275 for a year. How much does the Stieg want? Okay, uh, can we make that a two-way contract? If we can make that a two-way contract, that would be ideal. And uh, Seth Griffith, you can help the AHL team. So yeah, we'll re-sign you. We're basically going to have enough money to re-sign everybody, I think. But the one thing is, we need to go and get out. We need to go and get a star defenseman, because otherwise we're going to have a problem. Samuel Morin, we definitely want to re-sign you. Two million for three years. I think that's fair. Uh, Gabriel Carlson, I would love to re-sign you. Uh, well, okay, less than a million, a two-way contract. I will take that. Logan Stanley, want to sign you as well. We'll go a million for two years. 
There you go. Joe Morrow. He's a good depth guy. He can stay in the AHL. Um, let's go 1.5 million for a year, for two years. Logan Green, 74 at 23. Yep, we'll sign you as well. Basically signing everybody. Mayor of 72 at 20. I remember I drafted him, didn't I? You can have your entry-level contract, bud. So, Tyler Myers. We need to sign Tyler Myers. He wants $4.425 million. Okay, so let, what, what's 85% of that? About 3.7 million. Let's go 4 million. Let's try 4 million, see if that works. 4 million for 6 years. He wants his he wants his payday. And then goaltenders is the last one we need to look at. Eric Comrie, 81 at 25. I really think we should re-sign Comrie. Uh, $1.6 million for one year. I can take that. That's fine. Um, Ulmark, I would like you to play in the minors. So 1.450 for two years, I think that was. Okay, so we've basically offered everybody a contract. We should have enough money to pay for everyone. Because we lost um, Dustin Bufflin. So let's see. Let's see if anybody resigns with us. So uh, we've got a couple of um, scouts resigning. So Perot has rejected his offer. Tyler Myers has rejected his offer. Joe Morrow's rejected his offer. Marco Dano's rejected his offer. Kyle Connor's rejected his offer. Jack Roslovic has accepted his offer, so that's good. Ulmark's rejected. Carlson's accepted. Morin's accepted. Griffith has uh, rejected. I think he said he wanted to be with a con contender. We've won back-to-back -back cups, mate. Have you not been paying attention? Eric Comrie's accepted. Harkins has accepted. Lemieux has accepted. Curdles has rejected, as has Versteeg. Logan Stanley, Green, McKenzie, Mayorov have all accepted. Okay. So we kind of have a bit of a better sense of where our team's at right now. So we have $22 million to spend. Kyle Connor does want a contract extension with the team. Let's go $5.5 .5 million then. I, I can see that he wanted a bit more money. I did kind of take um, three quarters of a mil away from him. Okay, so Tyler Myers doesn't want a contract extension and neither does Matthew Perot. Okay, and neither does Nick Curdils. We're a Stanley Cup championship team for goodness sake. Why wouldn't you want to stay on a winner? Uh, Christopher Stieg would like a contract, though. So, let's just take a look at each of our positions. So, Shifley, Duchesne, Roslovic, Appleton. We're set in the, uh, in the centre department. Then we've got a few good guys down in the AHL as well. Good. So, centres don't need to worry. Left wingers. We've got Panarin. We've got, hopefully, Kyle Connor. Then we've got Lemieux, who'll be able to come up and play. And Veselainen, hopefully. I think signing a depth left winger would be helpful. But other than that, I'm quite happy. Right wingers. We've got uh, Line, Ehlers, Patan... Um, Versteeg would be good to sign. Yeah, let's 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 sign Chris Versteeg. Actually, no. Marco Dano does want to sign with the team. We just didn't offer him enough money. Uh, so let's go 1.3 million for a year for um, Marco Dano. Seth Griffith, sure. I just want to sign these depth guys. Um, and Chris Versteeg would be. It would probably be quite good to have all three of them because uh, Blomqvist isn't really going to do anything. Uh, Bolt. Who, when did we draft Bolt? Um, when did we draft him? I, I'm just interested. Fourth round. Uh, last two seasons ago. Okay, so 69 at 20. Hopefully he'll grow to an elite. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. If we have some depth in our right wing position, it means we don't need to go out and get somebody. So Tyler Myers doesn't want to re-sign with the team, which means we need to find two top four defensemen in free agency, which might be difficult. Joe Morrow does want a contract with the team, but he didn't really want what we offered, so we'll give him what he wants. That's fine. Kravchenko, 69 at 19. That's not too bad. Um, okay, so let's advance another day. We've given out five more contracts, I think. Let's see if some of these guys resign. So, uh, another scout comes back. Morrow's rejected his offer. I felt that I could impact the NHL roster more if I was given the chance to play. No. I mean, you're 75 overall. Darno's rejected. Connor's accepted. Okay, Kyle Connor's back in the lineup. Good. Seth Griffith is rejected. And Versteeg's rejected. They're unhappy because they... Wouldn't get time in the NHL, most likely. Okay, well, that's understandable. Um, we've got $18 million of salary cap space, which should be enough to sign two defensemen. So, centres were locked up, not a problem. Left wingers, we've got Panarin, Connor. Then we need to find a depth left winger. Right wingers, we've got Line, Ehlers, Patan, and we need to find ourselves a depth right winger. Um, none of these guys want to sign. Well, they want to sign with the team, but they also don't. So, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit confused. So let, let's sign, let's sign Versteeg a million dollars for two years. I'm happy to keep him in the lineup. Um, and then uh, Myers and Morrow don't want to sign. Comrie's back with the team. Linus Ulmark, he doesn't want an extension. So we need to find a AHL goaltender as well. Okay, so let's advance another day, see if those players sign with us. So another person's back. Okay, so Chris Versteeg is back with the team. Good. 
So we have our right wing position sorted. So going into free agency, I've identified three things that we need. We need a depth left winger. Uh, low to mid 80 overall would be good. Um, we need a AHL goaltender. So a high 70, low 80 uh, to play in the AHL. And we need two top four defensemen. The two top four defensemen is the most important one. We've only got $18 million to spend. So we're not looking too good here. Well, we've we've kept the core of this team. Losing Dustin Bufflin has been quite a big blow to this team, as you would expect. But we're going to lose the likes of Tyler Myers, Matthew Perot, and Nick Curdills. Most of them depth guys, but Tyler Myers is a top four defenseman. It, I mean, if we'd kept Myers and then we'd lost him next season, that would have been more manageable. Because then we would have lost one defenseman each year and we could replace them. But losing two of our top four isn't the best thing to happen right now. So hopefully there's some decent defensemen out there that we can go and sign. So I'm not uh, interested in uh, offering any other contracts. So the following scouts have not been renewed to see uh, Sestito and Fleury. I was like, this is the... Right, okay. Free agency. Let's have a look at what's available. So, Alex Ovechkin is the top free agent. Roman Yossi. Okay. Perfect. This is exactly who we need on this roster. And then Dougie Hamilton. Um, or Kevin Shattenkirk, Adam Larson. So a lot of right-handed defensemen. I want to go to goalies first. So I want to see what's going on here. So Frederick Anderson is a free agent. Tuka Rask is a free agent. I don't need anybody like that. I need somebody like Hutchinson, Picard. Okay, so um, backup goaltender. Hutchinson, how old are you? You're 31. Hutchinson, I'm going to offer you a contract. Um, we're going to go $1.75 million for one season. You can be my AHL goalie. Okay, that's sorted. Got that out of the way. Good job, me. So, Alexander Ovechkin, 35 years old. He's an unrestricted free agent. Wasn't expecting that. Roman Yossi. So, we need a guy to replace Dustin Bufflin. Roman Yossi is a great place to start. I'm going to give him $7 million for five years. I think that's fair. It's more than he's asking for. It's the right term. He would fit on our team on a Stanley Cup champion. I think that makes sense. Um, so, Roman Yossi, we've got sorted out. Then the next one is Dougie Hamilton. Tyler Myers was a right-handed shot, I believe. So, if we could pick up Dougie Hamilton as well, we would have improved our defensive core tremendously anyway. So, I think that makes sense as well. So, Dougie Hamilton, he's in the prime years of his career. I'm going to offer you $6 million. So, $7 million, $6 million, that's $13 million. So, we've got $14.75 million already locked up. So, we have a couple of million left to sign a decent winger. Uh, decent left winger. Sven Betsky wants $4 million. I don't think so. Um, Furland, 80 overall for $3 million. I'd rather not. Uh, 81 overall Thomas Tatar uh, for $2.9 million, maybe. Alexander Steen, 79 overall at 37 years old. Matthew Perot still available at 81 overall. Richard Panic no. Um, Sven Angrigetto, I suppose they could be an 86 overall. I highly doubt that. Um, looking down in the depth groups of players, uh, Matthew Culver, I want a left winger. Brendan Leipzig, he's 75 overall, potentially. He's a fourth line forward. I don't know, I don't know if I want to sign that. I don't know, we need to, we need to find that left winger, but I'm not sure really who to go for, because we could go for somebody that's like really high up, well we don't have the salary cap for somebody really high up. We could go for somebody like Michael Furland, who's a third scoring winger, that might be good actually, he's... He wants $3 million. We can get him for $3 mil. He's 80 overall at 29 years old. He's a grinder, so he wants to be in that bottom six anyway. You know, we'll try Michael Furland. The good thing is we don't need to worry too much because there will be players like him available for the next few days. We just wanted to make sure that we had the money for the Roman Yossis and the Dougie Hamiltons. So let's advance a couple of days and see what happens. Oh my goodness, this is a trade and a half. So the Carolina Hurricanes want to offer us Justin Falk, Calvin DeHaan, uh, third round pick in the next draft, and Jordan Stahl for Mayor of McClellan and a first and second round pick. I want to take a look at this. I'm I'm intrigued. You've piqued my interest here. So Justin Falk, he's 86 overall as a defenseman. Um, he had 48 points last season, 74 games. That's decent. Calvin DeHaan, 80 overall. I don't really like that 80 overall. Uh, third round pick from the Hurricanes, and Jordan Stahl, who is 79 overall at 32 years old. I mean, that's an interesting trade. I mean, Falk is definitely the centerpiece of that trade. I'm not really that interested in Stahl or DeHaan. You know what? I'm going to say no to the trade for now. Because I want to see if these free agents sign. If they don't, then I can go back to uh, Carolina and maybe make a deal. Okay, so there's a different deal here. Justin Falk for McClellan. First round Stanley and that. And we also get Calvin DeHaan. Well, I don't really want Calvin DeHaan. I've already got 
several different um, bottom six defensemen. I want top four. So, Michael Furland has joined the team. Welcome to the Winnipeg Jets, Michael Furland. Michael Hutchinson is back with the Winnipeg Jets organization. Welcome. So, uh, Eric... Oh, Eric Johnson. Okay, so McClellan, Logan Stanley, and a third round pick for Eric Johnson and a, and a second round pick. Eric Johnson is 84 overall, potentially. A 33 years old, though. I'm not really interested in that. Okay, I want to see if Yossi or uh, ha Hamilton sign with us. Dougie Hamilton has joined the team and Roman Yossi has joined the team. Oh my god, we have a stacked defense now. Oh, we've got stacked forward, stacked defense. I'm loving it. So, if we take a look at our contracts, I just want to take a look at each position. Oh, we are so stacked. This is great. So, uh, centers. So, centers, we've got Shifley, Duchesne, Roslovic, Appleton. And in the system, we also have Harkins and McKenzie. Then left wingers, we've got Panarin, Connor, Furland, Lemieux, with uh, Veselainen in the uh, minors. He might be ready to go next season, I don't know. Right wingers, we've got Line, Ehlers, Patan and Vestig, with uh, nobody really in the in the uh, system. Defence, we have Roman Yossi, Dougie Hamilton, that's basically our first pair sorted. Morrissey, Truba, Morin, Niku, and either Carlson or Logan Stanley. So that, that's brilliant. Then goaltenders, Hellebuck, Eric Comrie, and Hutchinson to play in the minors. Perfect. Yeah, we've got our team here. The only thing I'm thinking is signing some depth at right wing for the AHL. That's the only thing I'm thinking of now. But other than that, we've got our team. This is a better team than we've had the last two seasons. Blake Wheeler, oh look, you're an unrestricted free agent, are you? How'd it work out for you last season, bud? Let's have a look. I want to have a look at his last season stats. Uh, full career stats. How'd you do last year, bud? 78 points, not too bad. It's not quite 91 points, though, is it, mate? It's not quite 91 points, but I, I, I get it. So I want some depth at right wing. Uh, let's go to right wingers. We have just under $4 million of salary cap, which is pretty decent. Um, let's go for a guy like... Marco Dano, I would like to re-sign, is the thing. Ryan Reeves is a good guy, but I don't really want these guys to play... I want these guys to be... Ah, minor scorer. Good. Seth, Seth Griffith, I want to give you a contract, bud, but you're not interested, so bye. Um, minor scorer. Ty Ronning. Uh, 72. Yeah, let's, let's sign Ty Ronning, why not? Here, have a two-way contract, bud. Anybody else? Fourth line forward, Dale Weiss. Um, anybody else that I actually know a little bit about? Troy Brower. What does he want? He wants a two-way contract, sure. I'll sign Troy Brower as well. There you go. Bit of depth at the right wing, but other than that, we're good. So, now, the only other thing that I want to do is I want to look at, see if there's any scouts available. Because I think we've got a few spaces for some scouts. Um, higher scouts. We've got five spaces for scouts. I want to find some decent scouts, though. I want the good ones. I didn't really do this as early as I probably should have done. Okay, so we've got some B overalls, which is decent. Uh, Samantha Rawpick, Harold Bonvi. Yeah, okay, so we've got some Bs. Let's go for some Bs. Um, yep, yeah, we'll sign you. Perfect. Uh, let's sign Samantha Orpic as well. Yep, I can give you that contract. No problemo. Um, Olchek. Uh, Lewis Olchek. Yeah, sure. We'll sign you. And uh, let's go for Ustorf as well. Probably should have done this slightly earlier, but I'm, I'm here to pick up the scraps. <laughs> right, good. Okay, I think we've got everybody we needed. I'll be able to rearrange them. I'll probably do it in between episodes. Signed, what, four or five new people. Sounds pretty good. So let's um, let's carry on to the start of the season or to preseason. Uh, so let's go to September first. Here you go. So let's sim through the entire off season. So willing to accept your offer. Perfect. So one scout joins us. Uh, another scout has not joined us. Fair enough. Uh, no. So the Winnipeg. So the New York Rangers want our second round pick, Kerrinan, and our fifth round pick for a second round pick. No. New York, I love you, but what are you doing? Bonvi signs with another team as well. Samantha Orpic has signed with us. Good. Troy Brower and Ty Ronning have joined the team. That's pretty good. Uh, Mayor of McClellan for Jake Muzzin and a fourth round pick. No. My defense is stacked now. You don't need to give me any more offers, fellas. My, my defense is set. I'm good. Wow. Muzzin has six years left on his contract? Jesus. That's a lot of money for Jake Muzzin. Okay, so yeah, I'm feeling really good about this team. Uh, we've actually got a much better defensive core than last season, and we've pretty much kept our entire um, forward core. Our top six has stayed with the team. So, yeah, I I'm really happy. I don't need any of these trades. 
I, I'm feeling really confident about a three-peat here. Like, you know, it takes a few years, but you finally get a stacked roster, and you just feel great about it. That's the most satisfying thing. I think I enjoy the free agency the most out of anything, in uh, other than winning the Stanley Cup, obviously. I think winning the, um, winning the Stanley Cup is great and all, but going and picking the players individually in free agency and drafting the right players, that's the bit that I enjoy the most out of franchise mode. I, I love the off-season. The off-seasons are usually my favourite episodes. One, because you actually have to do stuff, like whereas with simming the season, and I know people are like, oh, we'll play the games then. But I mean, it would take a million years for me to play all the games. Um, whereas we get longer done. Like, for example, if we played some of the games, or did it like there'd be a pro um, situation where we play the third period of games 1 3 5, it would take us pretty much until New Year to get a to get one season done. Whereas here, we're going into year four. That's why I do it, you know? I think that's why a lot of um, hockey YouTubers do it. It's, to, it's so you can see the short term and the long term, whereas n not just the short term. Like, for example, you wouldn't have seen me win back to back Stanley Cups if we'd only done one season. So, uh, we've sold most of our tickets, which is pretty good. Uh, we're simming to the 1st of October. Oh, we've got a couple of uh, extra players coming in that have been signed to us. Oh, an extra $47,000. You're too kind. Right, I want to see the roster move, see if any of our players have grown in overall. Right, let's do the owner goals. Champion, well, of course. 25 sellouts this year. Uh, beat the Minnesota Ro uh, Wild in our first meeting. And average 85% concession fan happiness. Okay. Right, edit lines. I want to see what my team looks like. So, first line, we have Panarin, Shifley, Line, as we should. Second line, Carl Connor, Matt Duchesne, and Nikolai Ehlers. Good. Third line, Michael Furland with Mason Appleton and Nick Patan. And fourth line, Brendan Lemieux with Jack Roslovic and Chris Versteeg. I'm, I'm happy with this lineup. This lineup is great. You're a depth forward and you're a third scoring line forward. Third scoring line forward. Th okay, so Appleton and Roslovic, you should swap. But other than that, I'm really happy with this lineup. Defense. Roman Yossi. Oh, I forgot he shoots left. Roman Yossi with Dougie Hamilton. Josh Morrissey with Jacob Truba. And Samuel Morin with Sammy Niku. What a great team. That defense is so much better than it was before. Before we had 84, 86, 283s, 79, 78. We've now got potentially 91, 86, 84, 83, 79, 78. I love it. And goaltenders, Connor Hellebuck, Eric Comrie. Scratched, we have Gabriel Carlson and Troy Brower. Oh, Troy Brower, I can send you down. Probably, maybe. Troy Brower can be the, the extra forward. Yeah, I don't mind about that. And in the system, uh, Logan Stanley, Veselainen. So none of the guys have actually like properly grown yet. It might be because we're not at the start of the season. I miss that, though, with all of this, like, different scouting stuff. I, I miss the fact that we don't get to see, like, players that have gained overall during the offseason. So, Shifley's still the captain with Line and Roman Yossi is the alternate. No, Roman Yossi, you're not the alternate. I I'm sorry, but I can't give you the alternate captaincy. Who's a guy that deserves it? So, Shifley, definitely the captain. Line definitely an alternate captain. I'd love it if you could give it to goaltenders. Um, Morrissey's been quite good for this team. He's... Well, he's one of the only remaining defensemen. Well, him and Truba. We'll give it to Truba. Truba deserves it. I uh, can't think of anybody else. Ehlers, maybe. Um, Kyle Connor, maybe. But no, I, I think Truba and Morrissey are the only two defensemen that are remaining on my team uh, from when I picked it up. So, yeah, I, I, I think give it, to, give it to Truba. Done. Yes, please. So, let's go to the start of the season, which is the 7th of... Uh, October. Yep, 7th of October. We've got a stacked team. We're ready to win some games. Odd Man Rush is happy. Allocate budget. Yeah, sure, why not? So, um, so if we take it all off advertising. Um, scout salaries and scout travel I'm happy with. Arena operations need some money. Um, promotions and advertising. There you go. That should work. Save the budget, please. Okay, so moving into the preseason, uh, auto sign promotion nights. I really cannot be bothered to find key moments in the season to find and do that stuff. So first preseason game against Nashville, and we win five nothing with a four two win against Chicago the day after. Of course, it's preseason; it means nothing. When the season kicks off is when we need to pay attention. So home against Dallas, 
we uh, win 3-2, good. Away against the St. Louis Blues for preseason. We take a 5-3 win. Our penultimate preseason game against Colorado. We take a 4-1 loss. And our last ho- our last preseason game away at Minnesota. Uh, salary cap, yep, we're under the salary cap. Against Minnesota. Oh, uh, waivers, yep, that's fine. Is a 5-1 loss. We went 5-4-2-0. Uh, right, we need to assign our scouts. Okay. So, uh, right, what are we doing here? So, the regions that they're in are all A+. plus. Let's just double check that we're in... So we've got two players in the uh, two guys in the OHL and they're scouting different people. I think. Uh no, they're they're scouting similar people. Okay, well they're they're scouting similar people. Uh Russia. Yeah, we've got a guy in Russia. He's scouting certain people. Yeah, uh specific players in USA East, USA West. So we've got two in the W, two in the O, two in the AHL Pacific. I'm not sure I like that. Um we've got AHL Atlantic, North Central, Pacific. AHL Pacific. So I want to take a look at you. Do you have anywhere else that you're good at? AHL Atlantic. USA West. USA West might be good. Um, so let's change your region to USA West. I'm pretty sure we've already got somebody there. Um, but USA. USA West. There you go. Perfect. $560. Damn it. Plane travel is a bitch. Right. <laughs> okay, so I'm happy with the rest of that. So, next episode, we will start with an away game against the Nashville Predators as the Winnipeg Jets look to get their three-peat on track. So yes, I'm going to end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.